Hello students, welcome back to our science to topic, cell and cell organelles. What is a cell that we have earlier discussed it is the building block of our body. All the living uh, plants and animals, they are made up of cells only. Then how are cells made up of? What is their basic structure that we are trying to understand? What, what are all the material inside the cell that are helping it work perfectly. So up till now we have seen what is a cell wall which is present only in the plant cell. Then cell membrane which is present also uh, in plant cell and animal cell outer covering is the cell membrane. It is semi permeable. It allows selected material to come inside and move out of the cell. Then what is cytoplasm that also we have seen? Cytoplasm is the fluid material inside the cell that um, ha having nutrition for the cell organelles present inside them. All the other cell organelles are embedded in the cytoplasm. Okay. And the part other than the cell organelles in the cytoplasm is your cytol. Cytol plus the cell organelles becomes the cytoplasm. Then we yesterday have seen what is a nucleus, the important part of the cell, the main brain of the cell which is uh, ordering the cell how to work and what to do. And inside the cell we all have seen there is a nucleolus and chromosomes. These chromosomes are the main factors of carrying heredity characters from the parents to the offspring. That also we have seen. Today we are moving up to the next two cell organelles. That is endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. So what is endoplasmic reticulum? If you see a simple diagram of a animal or a plant cell, the nucleus is mostly at the center in animal cell and in plant cell it is shifted to a corner because of the huge vacuum. There is cytoplasm and the endoplasmic reticulum are the folded structures around the nucleus. Can you see this? These are the folding structures around the nucleus that is your endoplasmic reticulum. Now, what is speciality of this endoplasmic reticulum? Let us try to understand. So, the organelle which conduct various substances inside the cell is called as endoplasmic reticulum. It is going to conduct certain material coming out from the nucleus outside in the cell. Then certain material from the cell that is from cytol, from the other cell organelles towards the nucleus. So that is your endoplasmic reticulum. ER is the short form for endoplasmic reticulum. You can write down ER capital. Has a net like structure consisting of interconnected miniature tubes and sheets filled with fluid. So, this ER, you see, is having certain tubular structures and sheet like structure that help in transferring of material from the nucleus outside and from the outside to nucleus and um, net-like structures and they are all interconnected but they are filled with a certain fluid. So ER is connected to nucleus from inner side to plasma membrane from outer side. So you see from inner side, it is connected to the nucleus and from outside, it is going towards the um, plasma membrane. As you all know, in a animal cell, 
प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन और सेल मेम्ब्रेन एंड द थर्ड लेन टू दिस मेम्ब्रेन इज द सिलेक्टिवली परमिएबल मेम्ब्रेन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड ऑलियो ओके सो ईआर इज कनेक्टेड टू द न्यूक्लियस फ्रॉम द इनर साइड एंड टू अस आउटसाइड इट इज कनेक्टेड टू द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन so rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomal nuclear granules on its outer surface so endoplasmic reticulum are classified into two types okay the rough er endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum why this is rough endoplasmic reticulum And why the remaining ones are smooth? Some endoplasmic reticulum you see have small granular structure over them. These are actually the ribosomes. These granular structure over the endoplasmic reticulum is the ribosomes, and ribosomes are specially design cell organelle in protein synthesis they are helping their job is to synthesize proteins okay that's why but they are located over the endoplasmic reticulum and these endoplasmic reticulum we will call as rough endoplasmic reticulum while the remaining ones will be smooth endoplasmic reticulum ser r e r okay why rough because they have ribosomes over them that perform photos in uh, sorry protein synthesis and smooth endoplasmic reticulum will not have ribosomes over them okay now what are all the functions of this endoplasmic reticulum it is the framework that supports the cell then it conducts protein proteins which are produced by these ribosomes are conducted towards the nucleus outside the nucleus everywhere okay because protein is very important component of cell construction then toxins have entered the body through food air and water are made water soluble by this endoplasmic reticulum only and then flush out of the body toxin get mixed with the fluid structure and it's going to be washed out of the body through urination okay so endoplasmic reticulum is a really very important cell organelle all are important and endoplasmic reticulum is one of them we should say okay the next um, cell organelle that today we are going to cover is golgi apparatus or the golgi complex after endoplasmic reticulum we are going to cover golgi complex now what is it why the name is golgi complex actually it was invented by a scientist named camillo golgi he described this structure for the first time and uh, the name of this scientist was given to this cell organelle he won the nobel prize in 1906 along with some other scientists for the study of structure of nervous system also so camillo golgi was the main person who invented this uh, golgi complex and what is the structure and function of golgi complex let us try to understand it is made up of 5 to 8 hollow and flat sacs placed parallel to each other so golgi complex are also certain sac like structures which are parallel to each other but they are not very close to the nucleus like endoplasmic reticulum okay now these sacs are called as cisterni these sacs of the golgi complex structure it has therefore the name golgi complex 
and these tracks are called as systole. Okay, they are having sac-like structures and that are termed as systole, and are filled with different enzymes. They are not hollow; they have enzymes filled inside them. The proteins coming from the endoplasmic reticulum. are enclosed in vesicles which come towards golgi complex via the cytoplasm so you see proteins which are coming out from this endoplasmic reticulum are going to travel through the cytoplasm this cytoplasm we all know is present in the cell is going to travel towards the golgi complex and in those sacs they will be entering they fuse with the formation phase of the golgi membrane and empty their content in the cisterni so this protein content is going to come to the golgi complex and empty their content inside those sac like structures called as cisterni of golgi complex as they pass through the cisterni they are chemically modified with the help of enzymes because they do have enzymes in those sacs they are again packed in the vesicle these vesicle exit from the mature uh, maturation phase and the cisterni work like uh, packaging department packing department that packs and distributes the substance mostly proteins so what is the function of cisterni they are working as a packing department of the cell okay so cisterni is going to work as a packing department for the ribosome made proteins that are transferred into the cytoplasm by the er endoplasmic reticulum so see all the cell organelles are working together inside the cell they are not having a fight among themselves otherwise the complete functioning of the cell will get disturbed are you getting so together we can create miracles so inside every cell all the cell organelles working together this way helping each other transferring and uh, <clears throat> in a combination they can uh, they are working miracles they are uh, working perfectly whole of our lives in every cell all these things are going on then what is the main function of this uh, golgi complex is uh, the secretory organ of the cell it is called as it it modifies sorts and packs and materials uh, synthesized in the cell that is enzymes mucus proteins pigments etc and dispatches them to various targets like the plasma membrane and the lysosomes lysosomes we are going to study the next cell organelle and it produces vacuoles and secretory vesicles it helps in the formation of cell wall that is your cell membrane as well as lysosomes that we are going to study after the golgi complex okay so uh, today we have covered endoplasmic reticulum and golgi complex what way they are working inside the cell in a combination that we try to understand two types of endoplasmic reticulum rough and smooth also we try to understand okay so i hope you can write down the difference between rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum and functions of endoplasmic reticulum and golgi complex for the day okay so that much is enough next cell organelle in the next class oh bye all of you thank you